Hey, what is up there, guys? I know the stream has finally started. The live stream has finally started. How you guys doing on today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Well, today we're giving out, speaking of right, we're giving out an R for wrong. Um, those of y'all that are new to the channel, um, we give out R's here. So it's kind of like, kind of like taking the L, but we ran out of L's because we gave out so many L's to MGK. So we give out R's, which can mean ratchet or wrong or ridiculous or just retire, retire already. So today we're giving out the R to not just Joe Budden, but to the whole podcast. Because let me tell you guys, usually they just hate for the sake of hating Eminem, but today they were pretty vulgar. I mean, they were, they were, pretty, well, they had their own reaction to the song, What If I Were Gay? And, um, well, not even the song, the snippet. So, well, with that further ado, let's just hop into it. Gotta catch this song, gotta get this song, you know you wrong. Let's just play that intro. Yo. DJ Fuffy in the building. Gotta get this That's song. right. That's gotta right. We gon' give out this all today. We done ran out of L's. So. You know you wrong. Tracks. Retarded. Ratchet. Yeah. Ridiculous. Racist. R. Kelly. Respect. Regret. Rejection. Reset. Resign. Restrict. Revolt. R.I.P. Rough. Rotten. Rude. Ruin. Rap. Gotta get this off. Gotta get this off. Gotta get this off. Cause you know you wrong. You gotta get this off. Let's get it. Gotta get this off. You gotta get this off. Cause you know you wrong. Hey. <laughs> That's right. Y'all ain't gonna like this one. They took all the L's last year, so all we're getting out is all right now. Okay, I love it. So you guys may be wondering why are we giving Joe Budden the whole podcast and R on today? Well, I'm gonna show you guys a few clips. Um on yesterday, Joe Budden they decided to break down uh Eminem and kind of review and give their reaction to Eminem's snippet with genre of if I were gay and um well, let's just get into it. Let me play the first clip. Anyways, uh, what if Joyner Lucas and Eminem were gay? Well, we found out. Then nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. See, and that's the only part about this song that's disturbing. Well, no, it's not. It's mad part. The <laughs> no, there's a lot yeah, that's disturbing. Lot. And it's but one of the parts that bother me as a retired song maker is well rapper is the drop song maker <laughs> okay so you guys see in this first clip um joe budden is about to explain what bothers him so much about this snippet not even a song but this snippet of what if i were gay now one of the things to take note guys is that oh my goodness it happened joe budden exposed himself Joe Budden let you guys know, hey, I'm not a rapper. Call me a songwriter. I guess that's his way of getting out of, you know, that way he, if people come at him, um, he can talk stuff, but he don't have to spit bars because he's a songwriter. He's not a rapper, guys. Joe Budden tries so hard constantly to remind us just how trashy his rap game was. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. Let, uh, let's let's go on. Uh, uh, yo, that little pause and what if I told you that I was gay? gay. <laughs> and then the pause uh, and then the drums come in. <laughs> the pause making gay the punchline <laughs> and then the beat dropping. I'm really mad that Rory was right. Implying that like <laughs> now is when the I'm, beat should drop. I'm furious that Rory was right. Hmm. So here we get Joe Budden talking about his main gripe with that song was that pause. That what if I was gay? Da, 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 da. And it, he hated that pause and then they come in like it was a big reveal. Well, I must remind Joe Budden and I must remind you guys. It is a unreleased song. It was unreleased for a reason. I mean, it is a snippet. It was not released by the artist, so it's not the finished product. It's not. It's not what they wanted 
the general public to hear. There are two reasons, there are two main reasons that artists have unreleased or leaked songs. One, because it's just not finished and it just doesn't meet the artist's standard, so they don't release it. That's why it gets leaked. Or two, they're obligated by their producers to release it at certain dates and times. In this case, we are working with an unfinished song. To, so I'm, I'm just saying, I, 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 I would think someone like Joe Budden and these hip hop heads around him would understand that this is not the final product. It says it was a leaked song. So calm down. Dare I might say, Joe Budden, you know, if you hate that beat drop and that what if I were gay, maybe you should drop some beats <laughs> and drop some bars. Show us how it's done. But until then, let's play the next clip. I don't know how you didn't see it. I mean, I didn't think they were going to go there. It's Eminem. They're both talking about being gay. They're going to do the perspective thing and they're going to exploit the gay thing because that's what is quote unquote they trendy are now. cheap. Yeah, no, that, it's nasty. It's shit. all that's nasty. Low this is disgusting. Right there, boy. This is gross. This is this is because I know they already had that conversation of them being at the VMAs where all the people from the LGBTQ community walk down the aisle while they're rapping this and they're these big heroes and no, nah, it's gross. It's all nasty. Latif ain't supporting this shit. <laughs> okay, all right. I can't even joke about this, but listen to this, there, guys. Now they're making accusations that. Um, Eminem and Joyner, they don't really care about the cause of being gay. They have created this dialogue that Eminem and Joyner, and what did they just say? They literally said that Eminem and Joyner was in the back room planning how they were gonna, they already had it all mapped out. They already had it all mapped out. When they go to the award ceremony, the, the, the award ceremony, it's gonna be them as heroes, the LGBT are gonna love them. Really? Y'all really think he give a damn about a Grammy? Most of these critics don't like him, <laughs> let alone, st <laughs> come on now. So where did this come from? Not only are they saying that they are exploiting the cause, but now they are, they are in some back room and th this is crazy. What about this snippet gave you that impression? The only way to get an impression like that is by mere hate. Because you have no idea what their opinion, unless they say it. Or, or you, I mean, you judge someone not by your own hate, but by what they have shown to you. I mean, Eminem, he have shown to you in the past that he have, not just in the past, but now and in the future, the only thing that he's been showing you that, hey, you know, I'm friends with Elton John, I'm trying to fight um, against, uh, he even denounced some of his most famous songs, like, um, you know, I'm sorry, mama, but I mean, what about this snippet gave you that right to have such an accusation? Unless you're just hating for the sake that you're hating. I wonder if Joe Budden made this song. What would be the response by those three? Play the next clip. All right, so you guys will not be listening to What If I Was Gay by Joyner and Eminem when it hits the DSPs. You think it'll go off in the club? <laughs> no. I think y'all went off on it uh, behind, the uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> it's, it's a little quiet now. I'm sitting this one out like y'all told me to. I said I said last episode, I'm saying now. It's fucking nasty. You're exploiting this whole shit as a trend, and it's gross. I agree. So this group of Eminem stand bobblehead haters, they, they always do this. They always claim that they're not listening to Eminem's music when it come out. They're not listening to the hottest song coming out. They're always, they always pushing that. Now in this clip, they're talking about, oh, I'm not gonna listen, you're gonna listen to it when it comes out. And, but, Rory is really in his bag today. I like how, I like, I did like how Joe Budden, he just kinda exposed, you know, Maul, because he's kinda like a yes man, I mean, you don't want no smoke. Yo, uh, 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 Joe Budden was like, hey, y'all were in the back room talking all that stuff. Y'all y'all quiet now. <laughs> but now Roy is like, nah, this is disgusting. It's nasty. They're exploiting. 
I mean, words like disgusting, nasty, exploiting shouldn't even be attached to a song like this with a message, to a snippet. I mean, really, they're trying to denounce and they're trying to bring light to a certain issue. And the only thing nasty in this scenario is this podcast. Is the very is what you all are doing and talking about. Man, play the next clip. Trend and it's gross. I agree. Yeah. So you're doing? <laughs> but not if they're gay. They're not gay. You don't know that. We don't know that. Okay, even if they're gay. <laughs> no, well, then, then he said, ahead. "What if?" He never said, "I am." That Did y'all see ASAP Rocky's Calvin Klein ad? Yeah, that yeah, was in the underwear. Well, where, that how, was how are you? His nipples. How are you tying that into the conversation we're having? I'm confused. You don't got underwear that goes up to your nipple? No. Uh. I didn't know they was like that in the box. <laughs> Yo, let me get let me get your opinion on this Joiner record. <laughs> Just see where you're Wait till you see their perspective. Wait. <laughs> hey, Joyner. Wait hey, let me be the first. Hey, I, I don't want to. Hey, to be the guy to put you in a box, but you better never battle rap again. That whole you and Tory thing. <laughs> no, nah, going going back to this is very kind. Nah, you can't battle rap me back. after you said, "What if I was gay?" Why? Because <laughs> he's gonna tell you. Oh, no, what was what was the, the way I wrote what was it, the gay was, rapper that was trying to have people more? Bobby Lights. Yeah, I don't have beef. So they did get off subject a bit here, but I want to stop here. I want to stop. But did y'all hear that? So they're talking about, hey, you know, no, nah, Eminem, Joyner, they're not gay. And then the other side saying, yeah, they're pretty gay. Yeah, this was gay. Listen to this song. Everybody's judging off of this, this little snippet, this little leak. There's a reason why I said that, hey, it's not finished. They're not leaking. Doesn't match my approval. But I just heard. Something they said, guys. You guys hear that? They question if Joyner and them can now have a rap battle now. They're like, hey, Joyner, after releasing a song like this, uh, talking about how gay he is, hey, I don't want to see him go up against no battle rappers. He done lost his hard nigga Craig. <laughs> his hard nigga Craig. <laughs> he can't be hard. He can't go hard no more. He rapping gay lyrics. Come on, what's that? But y'all know something? I remember, you know something, Joe Budden? Now that you say that, if Joyner lost his cred because he was rapping, what if I was gay? There was a rapper that actually rapped the whole love song. And it was pretty gay. <laughs> I mean, okay, so they rapped about Eminem and how much they loved Eminem and they want to talk to Eminem. In this in this person's bar, he was talking about how much he kind of like really admire and look up to Eminem, but he don't get to talk to Eminem anymore. He sees Eminem um, while they're passing through the hallways, and he's and in this bar that I'm gonna play, he says that um, I wonder if you even see me staring at you. You remember that? You know what rapper? It was it was pretty funny. Uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, this, let me give you a little hint. Let me let me play this clip. I'm writing to you now cause we don't get to talk much Except for in the stool when we be passing through the halls and such I wonder if you catch me stay at you and all much And we be busy working so I never You know who that was? You know they were staring But anyway so anyway I don't know who it is neither But but whoever that was maybe they should lose their cred too Oh boy oh boy This podcast was a mess man it was vulgar I mean they're literally hating for the sake of hating. But we still need to give this beautiful R. Why are we giving this R? Now, we're not just giving this R because they took a snippet and they're not intelligent hip hop enough to know the difference between a leak and a track. It, we're not just giving the R because they're taking the rough draft as a final draft. Oh boy, oh boy, and we're not just giving them the R because that snippet that we heard, that little so so small snippet that we heard of what if I was gay was more relevant than Joe Budden's whole career. No, we're not just giving them the R because they tried to make it seem like they care about an issue 
when it's clear they don't care about the issue at hand, they don't care about someone exploiting the gays, but the real core hate is just to hate on M. Because of all these reasons, we are giving them all three of them the R on today. Play that beautiful jam. Ruin, right? Gotta get this off. Gotta get this off. Gotta get this off. Cause you know you roll. You gotta get this off. Let's get it. Gotta get this off. Gotta get this off. Cause you know you roll. Hey. <laughs> Right. Y'all ain't gonna like this one. You know you roll. <laughs> anyway, there, guys. I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I like to know what you all think. Did they deserve the R? Was I a little too hard? Did they have some points? You guys know I read all the comments, even the haters, the good comments, the bad comments, all that other good stuff. But I like to know what you all think in the comment section. Other than that, when the hate don't work, they start telling lies, mom. I'll see you guys next episode. KIP, keep positive.